Uh, so now we have uh, created the energy model. We want to perform the simulation. So let's uh, move to the energy simulation part. Um, I will actually turn a preview on the last one. And here we, we have uh, a problem concerning the Honeybee uh, windows. So we need to know what is it. The number of items in the EB construction list does not match the number in. Uh, so the problem here um, is that the number of materials does not match uh, because we have uh, two uh, materials options. So I, we needed to choose uh, one from them. So I will here make list item and Hook up this list. To choose, uh, for example, the uh, zero as the item, and hook up this here. Now the problem is solved. Um, so here, here comes the energy simulation part. We bring this, which is called run energy simulation. Uh, it has uh, different uh, uh, titles. So here for the north, if you wish to change the default north, you can do it from here. And the default north is uh, with uh, the Y axis. And here the EPW file that we have uh, brought before is hooked up. So I will bring it close to, uh, to this so that you can see it clearly. It's the EPW file, which is hooked up here in the EPW file part. Analysis period uh, um, uh, means that uh, if you want to choose a specific period, if it's not an annual uh, simulation. So here you might uh, choose to simulate your building for just one day or for a month or so on. So let's uh, change it from the default, which is annual, um, uh, because uh, we we need to to not. Uh, increase the calculation time to simplify the, the, the thing as much as possible. So we have here the analysis uh, period and you can see that uh, start month, let's say that it's uh, one, for example, uh, the start day is uh, one, uh, the start hour, uh, maybe uh, one also. It doesn't, it doesn't matter for me, it's just I want just to show you an example. So I want to minimize the calculation time as much as possible. So the end of the month might be uh, uh, one. Um, uh, and the, the end day, I might take uh, two because I want to make just uh, this period. The end hour uh, might be also one for the next day or two for the next uh, day. Uh, the time step, uh, you can choose which time step do you want. Uh, so it's, uh, you might want to make it an hourly. Uh, so here I might choose to have it. Uh... Here we have the honeybee zones that we brought from this component, the last one. And here we have the simulation outputs. Here you can choose which outputs do you want to, to bring. And in this case, I just want the, uh, the zone energy use. Uh, and then uh, finally, you have to uh, turn the right IDF uh, to a true and the run energy plus into a true also. Um, and then we have here a component which is called read EP uh, result that we need after performing the simulation so that we could uh, take the results of the total uh, thermal load. And before starting, uh, before performing the simulation, I will show you first how to add the shading devices. And here we have um, this, which is called Ladybug Shading Designer. Uh, you need to hook up the glazed uh, uh, surface, which is the windows only, uh, that we can bring from the honeybee decompose uh, based, uh, based on type. And I will 
bring from here the windows, hook it up here in the glazing uh, surface. I can turn this uh, preview, um, sorry, preview on so that you can see uh, the the shadings uh, coming out from the windows. Uh, here, uh, the you can assign the depth or vector uh, for each um, of um, the shading devices. Number of shades um, determine the number of shades for each glazed surface. And in order to minimize that calculation time, I will choose to have just one uh, shading device for each window, of course. As you can see here, it's just one uh, shading device. And um, the distance between, no, I don't have distance because, uh, but, but actually this, uh, uh, the, the distance is not uh, important for me. Run it means that we're going to run uh, this component. Horizontal or vertical, uh, you need to choose whether you want your shading devices horizontal or vertical, and you can uh, make both, of course. Uh, so it's, it's set true if you want to generate horizontal shading devices. And in this case, I'm generating the horizontal shading devices. Uh, here are the shading angle and the north and so on. So uh, this is uh, very important because here you, you determine the shading devices for each, the depth of the shading devices for each of uh, the facades. And as you can hover over here, you can see that uh, it starts with uh, it has uh, four, value, uh, four uh, values, it starts with uh, the west, uh, the south, and uh, east, and so on. So you have to hook up four um, um, in, in, in the, the same order. So here I will assume that I, I have uh, a depth which is starts from one to two, for example. You might assign zero if you want. So maybe zero and one, and, and that's, uh, that's enough. So we have the option for uh, zero or one, and we might use this in just one facade so that we can uh, minimize the calculation time, as I've told you. Um, so here, the, the zero item zero, um, we, we start, sorry, we start by the north, west, uh, uh, south, and uh, east. So let's assume we want to choose uh, to manipulate uh, the, the uh, south uh, facade. So I will uh, make uh, the zero. I will actually, I will remove all these uh, numbers. And here start by, I'll also disconnect this. And then I will start by uh, making zeros for the north, east, and west, and I will have also the uh, only the south that's going to be manipulated. So here, I hooked up this first, and then shift and hook up the second, the third, and the fourth. So now we have a third dynamic parameters, which is the horizontal shading devices that are created in the West, as you can see here. So now you will, in order to hook up the, or, or to make the, uh, the simulation um, count for uh, or consider the shading devices, you need to bring what is called honeybee uh, energy plus uh, energy plus context surfaces and uh, hook up the shading surface into the shading surface and then bring the honeybee context into uh, the honeybee context here. So now the simulation counts for the shading devices. And now you can start uh, before you start running your simulation, there's something that uh, I, uh, I want you to do. Uh, if you find any problems in the simulation, um, uh, anything that's not working well, and you, you don't know the, the solution for it, that here you have solution recompute. This make, makes like uh, refreshing your canvas. So uh, if there is a problem with uh, sometimes errors occur without uh, um, uh, a reason, so just by 
making recompute uh, things change. So if you're having a problem with running the simulation before uh, trying to solve it first, a check that you're having that, that you made the, the solution recompute and then start if the, the problem uh, remains start searching for the specific reason behind uh, this uh, problem so here i have a false and then i will uh, double click to run the simulation and uh, this means that the simulation is running so you wait we will wait to see that uh, the energy plus uh, uh, component uh, 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 finishes the simulation without any problems, which means it doesn't turn into orange, for example, uh, it doesn't turn into red and so on. This is a problem with uh, uh, the memory of my computer and it's, uh, it's, it's nothing, I do not take it into consideration. So here I will wait until uh, the calculation time uh, uh, finishes. So as you can see here, the simulation um, was performed in a good way. I don't have uh, problems with my simulation. And here, because we have decided in this um, component which output uh, do I want. So here there is specific outputs uh, coming out from the result uh, file address. Uh, so here we want to have, we can have the total thermal load, we can choose to uh, manipulate the cooling load and the heating load uh, in uh, separately, but here it's taking the total thermal load, which means both the cooling load and the heating load. 